Pacific Company has the slogan Farm to Fork. Now this slogan depicts all the supply and delivery processes that the company goes through to be able to give their customers an, a good end product, which is their sausages. When we talk of supply chain resilience, we talk of all the elements that come into play so that a company can be able to provide that end product which is perfect. Supply chain disruption then occurs when an incident at a supplier premises affects you negatively. This incidence could be something like a strike, it could be a drought that has affected your company, the supplier, it could be a product quality issue. When you look at implementing a supply chain resilience framework, you look at all elements that may impact your supplier and you put in place mitigations so that those elements do not negatively affect your business. The six W's of problem solving. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. The who looks at identifying which 20% of your suppliers support 80% of your business. The what and where looks at what they actually provide you with and also answers the question where is it that they get this product from? From another country, from another supplier, which source do, um, do they get this product from? The when and the why and the how looked, look at three elements, time and um, disruption. So time looks at the critical time periods that you are dependent on the supplier. Is it a daily supply? Is it a monthly supply? Is it a weekly supply? And the disrupt the why and how looks at how would this supplier be disrupted and why would that disruption occur? Answering those questions will help you know elements of your supply chain you need to um, take care of. Well, Oscar Wilde once said, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. And ISO have come up with two very powerful standards that you can easily imitate to, to improve your supply chain resilience. These standards are ISO 28000, which is a supply chain security management standard, and the ISO 22301, which is a business continuity management standard. Both standards would help any business looking to improve their supply chain resilience to look at all elements of their business and effectively implement a framework that will work to improve their resilience. So don't think about it, don't look anywhere else. This is the solution you need. Implement ISO standards, especially 28,000 and 22,301 to improve your supply chain resilience.